When we take a medicine, how does it actually find the right place inside our body and start working there? Does a medicine somehow know where the problem is? Does it have a brain or memory? Let's take a slow, detailed trip inside the human body and explore exactly how a medicine works once we take it. Let's begin with a small example. Imagine that your hand is aching after some hard work or injury. To reduce the pain, you decide to take a painkiller, like ibuprofen. Now, the journey of most medicines starts from your mouth. When you swallow the tablet, it moves down your throat and reaches your stomach. Once the tablet reaches the stomach, it breaks down into small pieces and moves to the small intestine. The walls of the intestine act like a soft sponge, absorbing tiny medicine molecules. From there, the medicine passes into the bloodstream. This is called absorption. Now think of your bloodstream as a busy highway system. Just like cars moving on multiple lanes, the blood carries the medicine all around your body, to your hands, legs, brain, and every tiny cell. Meanwhile, your liver and kidneys are constantly monitoring what's happening, like traffic controllers on that busy highway. They decide how much medicine should stay and how much should be removed. Now comes the most interesting question. You took ibuprofen for pain in your hand. So how does it know the pain is in the hand? Can it think? Can it make decisions? Mm -hmm. Of course mm -hmm. not. Medicines don't think. They simply follow the flow of blood and spread throughout the entire body. Here's where the magic of biology and chemistry comes in. Every cell in our body has special structures on its surface called receptors. You can think of each receptor as a tiny lock. The molecules of the medicine have their own special shape. Like a key. When the key fits perfectly into the lock, something happens. The medicine starts working. If the key doesn't fit any lock, it just keeps floating around in the bloodstream, doing nothing, until it's removed by the body. Now let's return to our painkiller example to understand this better. Our body naturally produces chemicals called prostaglandins, and these are the ones responsible for pain, fever, and swelling. Ibuprofen works by blocking the receptors that help make prostaglandins. Because its shape perfectly matches those receptors, it can lock onto them and stop those pain-causing chemicals from being produced. That's how ibuprofen reduces pain and swelling. Not just in your hand, but anywhere those chemicals were active.